Hi guys, and welcome to Card Making with Crystal. Today we're making an origami envelope for a square card. So let's go down. All right, all you're gonna need for this craft is one sheet of 12 by 12 um, paper. This is cardstock, a scoring tool, and a ruler that could at least give you the measurement diagonally this way. Um, and let's get started. So turn your paper over. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark the center of the paper just by folding it. So you're going to fold your paper in half like this and just mark on this side and just mark on this side. That's it. You're not, you're not creasing it all the way down. Then we're going to take our ruler and line it up from here to this mark. And we're going to score it. Now you don't have to score it. You can't do it without scoring it, but I'm going to be honest with you. I tried without scoring it and it does not come out as perfectly as when you, when you score it, it's just amazing. Now what I want you to do is you want to turn it 90 degrees and do it again. So we're going to mark from the corner up here to the middle on the opposite side. And then I'm going to keep doing this until I have all four of them marked. Alright, so your paper should look like this. It's kind of like a twisted, um, <laughs> funny enough, square. Alright, so the next thing you do is you fold this this way. Alright, so basically you fold on one of the creases that you made and then you're going to take you're going to put your hand up at this corner where there's another crease from here. So put your hand up here and then you're lining this line up here with this line down here. So you're bringing it like this. Making sure it's really, really exact on that line like this. And then you're creasing the inside. Of the paper then you're folding this down <laughs> it is so cute and then you're folding this down see so that's what you're doing let's do it again turn your paper make your fold again you're bringing this line to this crease here like so so there's no crease here so we're making a crease here so we bring it like so and we're bringing it down and then we're basically creasing it or folding it here and then we're bringing this one down as well so your paper should look like this <laughs> i know it might be a little crazy but just relax it'll all come together i promise so what you're going to do is you're bringing all four of them in until it looks sort of like this so you're making sure that these have the pieces on them like that right and this like that and then you're basically pushing it all together at the same time i know it might look like it's not going to come together but boom Look at that! <laughs> That's your origami envelope. Look how beautiful that is. And sometimes it might look like it's not coming together. Believe me, I know. So you open it. And it's an envelope. And it stays sealed. So just keep this like this. And this like this. And then you're pushing it all together from the outsides. Like so. All right? You're keeping this inside. That's the key. All right? Now you want to get a card, a beautiful card, and these envelopes take simple cards simply because they're so elaborate themselves <laughs> that you need to open something big then get something big. Sometimes it's really nice to put something nice and simple in it. So you put a card, an invitation, anything perfectly in there, look at that, and then you close it, and then you take some string. A 
have some other ones I can show you as well. So you can do this in any color. So this is a standard color one that has, it's not dual color. So these have, these are two, this is white and this side, this is a full. And then this one, oh, it really looks nice when it has a pattern, it's gorgeous. You could use it, put a pretty little bow. Thanks so much for crafting with me today in my craft room. This is what we made today, an absolutely gorgeous origami envelope. The card that fits in here is a five and a quarter by five and a quarter card, and it fits really snugly. You could go down to even a five by five, it'll look gorgeous, just as gorgeous. And you know, if you do try this craft, leave me a comment in the comment section. I love to know when you guys try the crafts. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like the content. There's lots more to come on all fronts. So stay crafty, my friends.